Hi there, Casey and Jen here with another Fusion video. Today we're going to be talking about lower body work on the chair. So calf raises, we've done some podcasts on this already, but calf raises is where we take all of our Pilates principles and bring it into the upright posture to really start picking it apart and training gait. This is an easy thing for clients to do at home also if they have a ledge or a step. But um, this will tell you a lot about what's going on in the client's body and where the breakdown of mechanics happen so that we can more clearly cue um, them into an upright posture. So Jen, I'm going to have you stand in front of the chair and Jen's going to demonstrate a little bit of what we typically see when clients are asked to do calf raises on the chair. So what we usually have clients do is hold on and take one foot Press it all the way down, make sure their toes aren't on the wood. Usually they do that. Yeah, <laughs> usually they, yep, yeah, exactly. They walk right up to the, so you always want to make sure before you cue them to press it down that they know to keep their feet on the floor. So here we go. So Jen's going to show us what we typically see. So let's just watch Jen. Mm -hmm. There we go. So clients are really um, forward oriented, right? They're not looking or thinking about their feet, but they know that these are in front of them. So they're just leveraging a body. Look at the neck posture. Good. One more time. And clearly there's just a complete breakdown of where she's <laughs> supposed to be leveraging, right? So there's many different incarnations of how this can go. So the first thing I like to think about and get them thinking about is although the ball of the foot and toes are on this pad, I want them to feel like they're standing on their body. And that is completely different because they're so used to having the floor underneath their heels. Even this is making their mind think about where they're at in space. Now the next thing is we always see a ton of glute gripping, right? There's just this grip, grip, grip. So what we want to try to find are the wide sitting bones, the top of the pelvis coming up and together to really facilitate. And this is an extremely helpful cue here mm -hmm. because what it does is it gives them that sense of the transverse multifidus pulling up and together so that they can be wide and to the side. Good. Now, can you keep your pelvis right on top of the arches of the feet as you lift the heels up? So start layering one cue at a time. So lifting the heels up, keeping the arch of the pelvis over the arches of the feet. Good. And then releasing yourself back down, sitting bones wide, wide, wide. Now, the other thing you're going to want to look for, Jen's doing a really good job at this, but people lock out their knees, myself included. So you want to cue um, an unlocked knee or a secret bend in the knee. It's a bend that they know they have because they can feel it, but the teacher can't see it. Mm -hmm. And now the other place I like to cue is sometimes, and Jen has just a little bit of this, is there's too much pluming of the chest. So I want you, Jen, to feel my fingertips, two hand touch here and connect it through your body. Yes, now have the heels carry this connection up. Now that is a beautiful calf raise and lower. Keep it connected, keep drawing the line through your body between my fingertips. One more time, we're working the diagonals from the front body to the back body, creating a spherical, spherical awareness of where Jen's at in space. And then gently lowering down. Beautiful job, Jennifer. Go ahead and gently, one foot at a time, have them hold on and leverage this up with ease. If there's ever a, a client that you're doing this with and you're not comfortable with how they would control the pedal because it is so highly sprung, you put your foot on the pedal, you help them on and off. Um, don't leave it up to them to understand how this works because until you get really, really familiar with the equipment, it can be hard to leverage. Mm -hmm. So that's some great tips to do some calf raises and experiment with that and we'll see you soon.